for it is raining once again and in studio kate from the clinton public library kate good to see you good to see you too so what are we all talking about today besides rain well there's lots happening this week at the library though we are closed on the fourth of july we are open friday and saturday though so if you want to come visit us this holiday week slash weekend we'd love to see you um but tomorrow we are doing a fun teen program with Brittany costello who is miss pearl city at 2 30 um and teens can come in and make diy plarn bags with her so we're hoping to have a nice turnout for her tomorrow and then we have another teen program happening on monday at 4 30 where we're doing a teen video game night so we're trying to inv- we're trying to have more teen programs, and this is this is a start. So, so that first thing, what kind of a bag was that again? It's a plarn bag. So, what they'll do is they'll cut like plastic bags that you get at the grocery store, and then they'll repurpose them into like a more reusable bag. So it's, I it's pretty cool. Like they'll once they cut it, they'll weave it together, and yeah, it's mm. interesting. Well, that is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, Market Music just took place last Wednesday. Unfortunately, Mm -hmm. you can't make it up there because you're working. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) But uh, how how did you hear it went? Yeah, I heard it went really well. Uh, The musicians are really talented, and I know the people who attended it enjoyed it. I think since it was our first one, um, we'll probably get more folks in the future. Um, But yeah, it was a nice turnout, and we're excited for more market music this summer. You know, it's a great tie-in for the North End because, of course, the market is that evening yeah. as well, and they mm-hmm. got the beautiful new pavilion now. Mm-hmm. Of course, you got the little bandstand that's up mm-hmm. there in the North End near mm-hmm. the library, yeah. and you get food trucks that just show up. Yeah, we do. I believe last week's was Delectable Delights, and yeah people were raving about how good it was so yeah we have a nice setup up there where people can browse the market eat some food from the food truck and just kind of enjoy and hang out which is what summer's all about so we're excited to offer that opportunity for people again we catch up with the clinton public library twice a month and i've doing this program for a few years now Mm -hmm. i'm always amazed what the library Mm -hmm. continues to offer What is your primary goal? What would you want to see done as a library? Mm -hmm. Um, Well, I think we're always just interested in reaching as many people as we can and just getting them excited about engaging with one another through our library programs, creating a sense of community that way, and then also getting people excited about learning. Uh, we offer, we have a lot of materials in-house or even uh, digital resources for people to use. So I think that's always our goal is to engage our community with one another and our learning materials. So. Do you guys have like a mission statement? We do, yes. I don't you don't have I it don't memorized? I don't have it memorized, unfortunately, <laughs> but I know it emphasizes that part of engaging our community and offering diverse learning programs and materials. So, yeah, we, we strive to do that every day in some capacity, of course. You, of course, got interested in libraries at a young age, I would imagine, mm-hmm. and that's why you're working at a library yeah. right now. You mentioned digital. That mm-hmm. is how things have really changed, I believe, in the library. Right, yeah, it's... It's incredible. So people can access like our ebooks or even audiobooks um, through an app called Libby, and people just like love it. They rave about it. Um, and many people don't realize we offer that until they come in and they'll talk about how they read on their Kindle and they buy these books, which that's also that's great. But then when I tell them, I'm like, well, do you have Libby since you're a library card holder? oh, what's that? What's Libby? And then I tell them and they're just like light up. And usually the next time they come in, they're like, oh my gosh, I love Libby. Um, Yeah. So it makes it really accessible for people um, to, you know, access those resources wherever they are. You don't have to just be physically in the library to get those things. And visiting with Kate at the Clinton Public Library, of course, you're in competition this summer with Mm -hmm. other libraries with Clinton. Mm -hmm. And now, how's that going for us? Yeah, we have maintained a very strong lead. Uh, we have been in first the for the whole challenge. I believe, yeah, we're already in week six, sweet five. Yeah, we're in week six. 
the the results for week five will come out today or tomorrow um but yeah it's been just exciting i think I wasn't expecting as many people to participate. I've been really pleasantly surprised. I think when I was looking at the data yesterday, I think we have about like 80 people participating. So I'm, yeah, I'm excited about it. And hopefully we maintain our lead. So So this is the first year Clinton, Iowa has been involved. (laughs) And you guys are not only going to be rookie of the year, you're going (laughs) to have an opportunity to be the most valuable library as well. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I think last week, overall, like cumulatively, the libraries had, we've almost read like 10,000 hours put together this year, which is what it's all about. Um, We've never had this much adult participation in any like summer reading program before. So we're just excited to encourage reading in our community and those across the U.S. So yeah, it's really fun. And today I think would be an outstanding day (laughs) to get together with a book. Yeah, definitely. If I wasn't working, that's what I would be doing. (laughs) So what are you reading right now? Well, it's funny you ask. I actually just finished a book last night. I stayed up a little too late finishing <laughs> it because I was reading a thriller. It's called Home is Where the Bodies Are by Geneva Rose. Again, I usually don't read thrillers, so I was up late. I was like, oh, this is kind of scary, but I just finished it last night. It's about this uh, family that comes together, like they're siblings, but they're not very close. They come together after their mother's like death, and they... Um, realize that maybe they didn't know their parents all too well. So it's a mystery of like what happened when they were alive. I won't share too much if you want to read it. <laughs> I highly recommend. So I'm currently like, oh, what do I read next? So hopefully I'll figure that out today. So how'd you sleep last night? I slept pretty good, surprisingly. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh, this is, we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, usually it's not my genre, so I was a little scared, but I slept okay. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> so again, the library will be closed on the 4th of mm-hmm. July, but you will be back open again on Friday. What are the uh, the mm-hmm. current hours? And talk a little bit about the North End. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so our current hours at the main branch is uh, Monday through Thursday, <laughs> 9 to 7. Friday 10 to 5 and Saturday 10 to 5. So everything within, yeah, so people can come to the main branch, so right across from Hy-Vee. Um, and then our Friends of the Library now has uh, its bookstore within the former like Lions branch. Their hours are um, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. They're open. I believe Monday and Saturday, it's uh, I, I can't, I'm not sure the hours off the top of my head. I think it's like 10 to 2, Monday and Saturday, and then Wednesday it's in the afternoon. I understand it's going pretty well up there for them also. Yeah, yeah. I just talked to somebody who works the bookstore, and they said it's going over really well. People are impressed with the amount of space they have, and with that space, the number of books they can, uh, you know, have on their shelves for people to browse. Okay, again, people want to find out more information about the library. There are best ways of doing that. Yeah, they can go to our website at www.clintonpubliclibrary.us or they can always give us a phone call. Appreciate it, Kate. Thanks yeah. so much. Enjoy the 4th of July. Yeah, thank you. You too. Love it. Embrace it. Right now, the, the, the Dan Patrick Show. Dan Patrick. You could go back in history and watch one athlete play. Well, I'd say Babe Ruth. Any chance it would be disappointing. But you're right. If I'm watching a baseball game and he goes one for four with a home run, 